Hey CJ, welcome back to Star Wars and I see the Republic. So in the last episode we broke into the Black Volcar base and took the prototype swoop accelerator. Now we're gonna talk to these guys and hopefully get that quest start finished. You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? No, I left it at home. Um yeah. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Um, hopefully they have enough time then. I left up my end of the deal, now you better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gaddon, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Yeah, I mean, how do you know I even know how to operate it? I don't, actually. Um, Why are you doing this? Gannon's right. Yeah, well, let one of your riders do all the work for me. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own I'm riders sure to fine. take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Uh, so you're saying I could die? Okay, I'm out. Suddenly, I'm not so sure about this. Without that prototype, you don't stand a chance of winning. And if you don't win, you can't get Bastila back. None of the other riders would give her up. This is your only chance. After doing all that work for you, you're basically saying you're not going to help me at all. Um, sounds like you got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. All right, fine. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've Great. got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Spend a restless night in the Beck base. In the morning, one of the Becks takes you to the swoop racing pits, where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go, so you can't have any of your companions with you. So you're the one who's going to ride the swoop bag, eh? Don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator and stability won't be a problem, I hope. I didn't mention that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of handling a soup bike for you? Um, I'm gonna assume I remember it from my first playthrough, and um, let's just get started with the race. Hold on, I better explain the rules to you. Each rider goes on the track alone, and at the end of the day, whoever posted the fastest time is the winner. Normally a rider can run as many times as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your soup will hold up. No more than four or five races, I guess. Don't worry, I think it's save and load the uh, save. Make your runs count. Gannon's put his trust in you. We need you to win this race for, or the Black Bulk, or Bedrix Bulkers. We'll get a whole bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. Um, yeah, you guys barely helped me at all. Um, yeah, I won't let you down. Sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over there by the counter. They give you the best time to they give you the time to beat and get you out on the course. I'll be waiting for you here after the run so I can make any tweaks or repairs to your swoop in case you want to go up for another heat. Hopefully that won't be necessary. Good luck, don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding while you're on the track. That probably won't happen. I've never had that happen to me, hopefully I won't start. I guess we can talk to all these losers. You've never understood why so many of you new riders make your first competitive start in the biggest race of the year. I mean, more money? What kind of armor is that? I don't think I've ever seen that. that accelerator Gaden slapped on your soup will help, but I don't think it will be enough. Plus, there's always a chance to explode during your run. Watch yourself out on the track, rookie. Every year I use a couple of you first timers. We Bex are losing enough members as it is without having without having them die to the track. Just be careful and good luck. Nikabo 
Hey, look at this. Fresh meat on the track. Well, don't get your hopes up, rookie. No first year rider has ever won a swoop racing season opener. Adam must be getting desperate if he's grabbing first timers off the street. When we Volkers win this year, we'll take over the we'll take over for you hidden backs. I'm just gonna wipe us out of existence. Another rookie on the track, eh? Give you punks a helmet and a swoop bike, and suddenly you all figure your racers. Basically. But judging by the look of you, I'd say I don't have much to worry about. The backs are really scraping at the bottom of the barrel now. I mean, I think they kind of are. I think I'm the one that's doing literally all the work here. Hey, Vassal, want to help me out? Hello? No one's allowed to talk to the prisoner. Patrick's orders. Find here anyway. She got a neural disruptor collar on to keep her under control. All right, that's good. Um, for that safe. You're here to race, right? Okay, let's see who your sponsor is. Myself. Ah, uh, you're riding for the hidden backs, I see. Always like them. I hope they can show the Volkers a thing or two. But I just, I digress. Okay, you're registered now. Good luck and try not to get yourself killed. We only lost one rider today, and we hope to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. All right, so, um... Illegal death fights are illegal, but you can race and get yourself killed. Uh, what's the time to be? All right, 38.43. Uh, what happened to the rider he lost? Same as usual, he pushed himself beyond his limits, and he hit some debris on the track. The collectors kept him from crashing, but the force of the impact jarred him from the swoop. Don't worry, they scraped up what was left of him off the track already. Just remember to hang on. You should be okay. You can hit the track whenever you're ready. Uh, hopefully not literally, though. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's start. Alright. I don't remember if spacebar or... Click. I think I might have the spacebar. I don't know. Press both buttons. Basically, we need to hit all these pads. And not hit the debris. Like that. Alright, sorry. 27 isn't too bad. Get to hit less debris. You did it! You got the top time! You beat racers who've been doing this for 20 years! This is amazing! Someone who's never ridden a suit before today comes in here and- Wait a minute, I don't believe this. Look at the board! There's a board? One of the black bulkers just beat your time. Whoa, it was Ritos. Read Rose? Okay, whatever. That's okay, the day ain't over yet and the accelerator's still holding together. You should have to get out there again and show them how it's done. All right. Do they say anything about that? Got to give you credit. You put in a solid run, rookie. There's no way I could match your times. But you can't compete with Red Rose. He's the best rider we got. He's a lock to win the champion's prize with the race he just ran. We're literally just going in a straight line. You had an impressive run there, rookie. But it wasn't good enough, was it? I'm twice the racer you'll ever be, rookie. You can get out of here. You can go out there for another run if you want, but why bother? You'll never match the time I posted. Watch, it's like one second uh, faster than mine. You're pretty good, rookie. That was an impressive time you had run there. It might have stood up if you were it against Redros running the race of his life. Now we're all counting on you to get out there and beat his new time. We can't let them win. Lots of meta routers can post a time as low as you did, rookie. Too bad it didn't stand up. Normally I... Normally I can match Rito's run for run. But he had the race of his life today. If anyone's gonna beat him, it's gonna have to be you and that prototype accelerator. Are they really hidden backs? How does she know about that? Does everyone know about that? Oh, it was not illegal or anything. Back again, I see. So, you ready to race the track? You ready to hit the track? Not literally, of course. We lost one rider today that way. Um, what's the time to beat? 27.14. Okay, I think I... Just milliseconds then. 
I know I had 27. All right, well, just hit less obstacles and I should be fine. And maybe hit more of the pads. We're not hitting more of the pads. Ouch. Nope, I don't think we're gonna make it. Wow, we somehow made that. Okay. Well, I'll take it. Alright, uh, I think he literally just said the same thing. I guess Gadda knew what he's doing when he picked you to ride for us. Now the only thing to do is wait for the time to be official and go collect your prize, unless he beats it again. Nope, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of this year's swoop race. Put your hands together and show your appreciation for one of the most daring riders this Stroop Track has ever seen. For your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier Stroop Rider on Terrace and it brought great glory to the Hidden Back Gang. I guess everyone knows there's gangs. Now here to present the champion's prize, Bredic, leader of okay. me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Gasp! Better not be uh, trying to cheat me, Bredic. Your swoop fight was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You can't do this, Bredrick. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all our most sacred traditions. These are sacred traditions. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. That's illegal. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! I think they only attacked the two of us, so you should have said kill them both. Um, anyway. Uh, Basila, could you do all the work for me? Okay, so yeah, those two are definitely at least neutral. Um, great. I don't know if I can beat them. Energy shield, save me! Okay. Uh, yeah, I paused it. Here it goes. You're going down. Alright. Um, let's take out the guard. I'm trying to move. There we go. We're gonna let Bassa do all the work. I have my energy shields down. Oh, okay, that's a lot of health. Um, hang on. You plan. Cold team myself. Heal. There we go. One more time. That didn't matter. That was close. Alright, um, first I need to loot the remains. Thank you for just standing there, Basila. Reddit's lame. Whoa, double bladed lightsaber. He's a Jedi? Well, I guess he had to nuke he was a Jedi or something. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Actually, I'm scared. I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Um, it's a long story. When the race is the only way I can save you. Never mind that. Um, my name's Rain Terrell. I'm here to save you. You should probably recognize the name, right? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. 
In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Um, we don't have time for this. Karth is waiting for us. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Gotta get another vision. Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Um, you're trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Wow. Um, he's right. You aren't showing much leadership ability right now, Bastila. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. It's we me. all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something weird happened when we first met. Like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you, fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess. This is... strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. Force sensitivity? What do you mean? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Meanwhile, Mission and Zalbar are just standing around, like, not uh, asking what's going on. No, not part of this conversation. Um, so this isn't the first time I had a vision. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision. If there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Hello, Starship. I think there's plenty of them around. Alright, uh, I don't think we can upgrade your lightsaber. Nope. Um, I don't know if I need to even bother. Yes, we're gonna upgrade that. That's probably fully upgraded. Alright. I 
gonna bother the bowcaster right now. All right. Who's our companions? Let's go with Karth and Bastila. The person the Sith are looking for probably won't be a problem. You there, human. You're the rider who won the great swoop race in the lower city, yes? I mean, I guess there were some witnesses still alive. Uh, you want an autograph, right? You must have me confused with something else. No, human, I don't think so. I saw those swoop race. You were there. You posted the best time. You're the one I was sent to find. You were there? Well, remember, there's like five other people there that were there that survived. I have a message from Candor's Ordo. He says to meet him in the cantina. I mean, which one? There's like three. And are you talking about like the cantinas here or there's like others in the city? I mean, it needs to be like more specific than the cantina. Um, Candor's? Isn't he the Mandalorian that works for Davik? Yes, that's the one. Given his connections, you can see why it would be wise to attend this meeting. Andros didn't say why he wanted to meet with you. He only said he had an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why it would be foolish to ignore his request. Um. Uh. Okay, I'll think about it. I'm not going to tell my plans. I would advise you not put this meeting off for too long, human. Mandalorians are not known are known for many things, but patience is not one of them. I mean, we still have some other quests we could do. Um, we've got some bounties we could work on. Maybe I felt like it. I'll go. Okay, that's it. All right, but Bendik, we might not be able to do. Might be too powerful for me. Let's go see what Candor's wants. SK pod still there. Hey, Sith. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Uh, are you looking for anyone? Oh, I thought there was a button I could press. No, I have a weapon equipped. Doesn't. Okay, that's why. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Sith, I, I, hang on. I think I found the person you're looking for. Yep. Uh, over here. No. Okay. Yeah, they're not good at the jobs. What? Let's pretend they didn't see that. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Um, I already know who you are, so what are you talking about? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated, so I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I mean, to be fair, though, he can't really run his operation very effectively when the Sith have quarantined the planet, so, I mean, it's not really his fault. Um, why are you telling me this? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend. All right, I. I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. 
Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Let me get this straight. You want a NASCAR driver to break into a military base. All right, what's in this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Um... How are you gonna manage that? Uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. All right, well, how am I supposed to be in, uh, getting inside that military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandor has sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Wait, you didn't pay for it in advance? Man, why do I have to do that? Uh, why don't you do this yourself? Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Just uh, wear some armor that disguises you. I, I don't know. I guess he doesn't have that lying around. All right, fine. You got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. All right. I was going to say something about like it's being so convenient that he waits till after we get the uh, or after we rescue Bascula, but it was because of the um, tool race uh, that I won. So. I guess it makes sense. All right. Um. For 26 minutes. Let's do another fight. I knew you'd be back. They all come back. You fought well last time. People like you, stranger. You beat lots on your. They bet lots on your first fight. They'll bet more on your next. 10%, same as always. You want to step in the ring now? You're ready to prove yourself against the best duelist on Terrace? Uh, I'm ready. You handled Duncan pretty. You handled Duncan pretty well. I think you're ready to fight Gurlon Two Fingers. Just remember, Gurlon uses blasters in the ring sometimes. You ready to step into the arena? Let's do this. Is it sometimes? Gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough. Even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger. Be cool if I like, had like a hood and I just uh, revealed myself like during the fight. But anyway. Maybe I didn't reveal myself at all. The cool outfit. Alright, it's gonna be a very exciting blaster fight. As we hit the floor. And the wall. Sometimes each other. Mostly the floor. It's over! The fight is over! Easy. The mysterious stranger has won! Gerlon losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. All right, only eight experience for that name. All right, I can open this though. Oh, I get nothing. I don't want to waste a med pack right now. Let's go ahead and get the credits. Good fight, good fight. People like you, Mysterious Stranger. They bet a lot when you fight. It makes me happy and rich. What about all the times I lose? I was paying my debts. You won, so you get paid. 10% of the purse? That was a deal. Here's your credits. You come see me when you're ready to fight again. 200. Alright, that's better. How much do I have overall? 3,000. Alright, not terrible.
one last thing we'll do here. And that's uh, get rid of this rack rules to the room that I've been holding forever. Oh, Basil seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. Speak to Basil. Can I help? You want to talk to me about something? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Before we rescued you, you mean? I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezhik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. Yeah, probably. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. Um, you didn't escape the Black Brokers until we arrived, I recall, as I recall. So I arrived. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volca prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. I mean, they literally ignored you as you waved your lightsaber around, so I think uh, avoiding them is probably like the easiest thing we could have done, other than like the two encounters we had. And I rescued a damsel in distress, don't forget that. Yes, well, I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course. But only by drawing heavily upon the Force. I think you underestimate us non-Jedi. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... Be glad I'm Force-sensitive. Or I couldn't have rescued you. Ah, uh, yes. The rescue again. Very well. For what it's worth, I concede the point to you. You rescued me from Brezhik. And yet we're still stuck here on Taurus. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. I'm gonna keep rubbing that in her face for as long as she lives. Anyway, let's continue. We're also like the only ones displaying weapons, but they don't seem to care either, so... I just... I guess they're Basil, really bad at their job. Oh. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Or were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the End of Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait, Can I have soldiers with you? You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Yeah, I'm questioning, like, why she didn't have anyone else with her? Like, some, like, captain some or someone? I mean, maybe not the captain. Captain probably would have stayed on the bridge. But, like, any, like... Uh, protection or any other Jedi. Actually, come to think about it, they only saw one other Jedi, and I thought they said there was at least more than two. Uh, maybe losing her lightsaber is a side effect of her battle meditation. This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a... Legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Karth. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Don't worry, I'll tell them for you. Anyway. Hello, sir. I have a gift for you. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I have some serum for the cure. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, 
Wait, I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. You know, all I said is I had it, but, um, okay, here you go. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the rat ghoul disease. With this, I mean, as long as you believe make me. enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Are these like the garbage uh, lower tier med packs or like better med packs? Um, yeah, I'll take that. I need that. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? All right, I'm going. Goodbye and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. I had points, I'd receive 200 experience, only 50 credits. Um, do we get more of these? No, I think we just got the garbage ones. Lame. You blew it. If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. But no, you had to go and do the honorable thing. You're welcome. Anyway. I think with all that, we are going to wrap up. In the next episode, I'll walk over to the um, droid shop and we'll get the droid that we need. And then we'll go into the military base. It's a lot of quests we're going to uh, probably not end up doing. We should definitely at least do the promise line. I think I have all the journal pieces, so we'll work on that. Um, maybe I'll just travel down there too. I don't know. Anyway, if you like this episode, stay tuned for the next one. I'm TJ, and I'll see you next time.